guess what? It's Saturday. You know what that means? Game reviews. I'm not gonna do that again. I, I have a headache right now. I've decided I'd want to hold off on my Boogerman slash Pac-Man 2 The New Adventure review. I found a game instead that I think I want to do more. Now, this is an interesting game, and I honestly didn't know it existed. I did know it existed existed, but I hadn't thought about it or really remembered it for quite some time. Now, this is a game you might have played, and if you haven't played this game exactly, you've played the games that are on it. Let me explain. Back in the day, there was a thing called Sega Channel. Uh, now, this was basically your first ever downloadable content online gaming. It was basically Steam, but everything was free. Kind of. You paid a monthly subscription, and much like your cable bill, and you got games literally beamed to your house through your cable line. It was awesome. You plugged it into your Sega, your Sega got a game, a new game every month, and I believe they had this for about two years. I had Sega Channel back in the day, and because of it, I was able to play this game. Now, I remember specifically having this game on there, and I remember thinking, this is strange, this game is a Nintendo game, isn't it? What is going on here? Well, uh, apparently it wasn't just a Nintendo exclusive, because Capcom decided to go out towards Sega. Now you're probably wondering what this game is. Well, it's a little game called Mega Man The Willy Wars. That's right, The Willy Wars. <laughs> I think about guys and their wieners. As much sexual innuendo as you can put towards that, it's still not that bad. <coughs> Willy Wars. Now the game is literally a remake of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 all together on your Sega Genesis. Now this is actually pretty cool because if you didn't have a NES at the time and you've always wanted to play Mega Man and all you had was a Sega, now you can relive those great classics in new 16-bit glory. But honestly, I think they should have done it for the Super NES. As far as I can tell, the game was never made for the Super NES. And that's a bit of a problem, because I think it probably would have fared better. The Genesis remake of these three games was... Uh, okay. But you're gonna find out that most of the things wrong with it are what make it not really worth playing. It's still Mega Man. Let me put that out there right now. It is still Mega Man, and you're going to probably want to play this game if you like Mega Man games, because it is the 16-bit glory. The sound is a bit revamped since the NES, and it's, you know, it's okay. It's an okay game. But it's not really a great Mega Man game. Much like my despair with Pitfall in my previous video, it isn't exactly Pitfall. It's not Mega Man. It just doesn't do what you want it to do. The game is slow and clunky. Mega Man does not shoot at the same firing rate he used to. The level design is a bit different. It's the same layout, just the background feels not very good. Something about it is just not pleasing. Mega Man is slow, like I said, and he doesn't jump very fast. And for some reason, the boss battles felt extremely difficult. It felt to me as if, though, Mega Man against Cut Man. I'm pretty sure when you come to the bosses, you're going to want to start with, I believe it was either Guts Man or Cut Man, because each of them defeat each other. I don't remember. I do remember that Cut Man was defeated by the Rocks, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, the point was, though, I started with Cut Man, and I got my ass kicked three times. I don't ever remember getting my ass kicked with a cut man. Cuts man was always easy to beat, I think. Right? Yeah? I, I'm probably just blowing this out of my ass. Anyway, it's not really Mega Man, and it's not the greatest Mega Man experience that you could possibly have. It has... I don't know. It has a charm. I'll give it that. But because it's an unknown game to me, or rather it's a game that I didn't know really existed that much because of, well, Sega Channel... Mostly, I'd like to say that the game is an overall okay, but if you haven't heard of this game like me, then you're probably going to notice that it's not Mega Man. Duh. Mega Man 2 still has the original intro, though, and that's totally worth it, because that intro just blows my mind every time I watch it. It makes me feel so nerdgasmic, I just, I don't even know. The platforming is still there, but it's slow and it's clunky and it's chunky. 
he feels like he's a little fat man rather than Mega Man. And his gun, another thing was that I really didn't like, was that his gun didn't shoot as rapidly as it used to. When you would hit the button, it would shoot like three bullets at a time in a burst, and you could keep doing that, and it was a pew 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 pew, and it was worth it. You know, you could kill enemies that way. But with this game, it feels like he's just pew 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 pew. It's just random, and it's awful, and I don't like it. Fuck you, Mega Man. No, not Mega Man. Just the Genesis version.